Great news. Devin Haney versus Regis Progray has been announced. The fight will be for a 140-pound title as Devin Haney travels up to his next weight class after becoming undisputed at 135. This fight will be in San Francisco, the Bay Area, where the Golden State Warriors play at the Chase Center, December night on Dazzin Pay-Per-View. And I'm really looking forward to this fight. I kind of want to go to this fight. You know I rock with Regis. You know I rock with Devin. I really hate to pick either side because, you know, Regis is my guy. So is Devin. But somebody must take the L. I think that most people are going to get hung up on Regis's last performance against Zarilla, who really had no intention of winning that fight. He came to survive. Regis didn't do a great job of cutting off the ring. He didn't do a great job of, you know what I mean, going to the mental part of boxing and just kind of like taking his time. He had a lot of pressure on him. He's fighting in New Orleans and he wanted to show out for the city and you know, he had a lot of people that he probably had to take care of. And he said that, you know, he says a lot of pressure to fight at home. But now Devin is fighting at home. He's from uh, Oakland, Bay Area. Ain't nothing but a hop, skip, and a jump. And so this is a huge fight for Devin to, I don't think any boxer has ever fought at the Chase Center since it's been open. So that's, I mean, that's big. And um, Eddie Hearn alluded to this when he said he was waiting on the NBA schedule to drop. So it looks like they found an opening. And um, Devin, to me, Devin, uh, I think Devin did look, I think he did step up his game with Loma. I think just I think just because the fight was so competitive and Devin is an uh, established name that people didn't give him the credit he deserved for being, uh, in my opinion, edging Lomachenko the way he did, the way he fought. It wasn't easy, though, at all. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't perfect or anything like that, nor should he be. Uh, I think Loma was a lot better version of himself than he was against T.O. So, I mean, it's a hard fight to call. I feel like Regis would, you know, the best case for, for, for Regis is that he uses Devin Haney as a proving moment. You know, I've been denied. This guy is a star. He's on the climb. Everyone thinks the world of him. I haven't got the opportunities. You know, Josh Taylor uh, fight happened because Jose Ramirez wouldn't fight me. Postal pulled out of a fight with me. Uh, Tank dissed me, and I wanted to fight Tank. Couldn't fight Tank. Couldn't fight Barrios. Couldn't fight a lot of guys, right? I don't know if he couldn't fight Tio or anybody. But for him to get Devin Haney and for Devin to be on this run on his resume, you can't say anything about this guy, man. I mean, he is now fought. You know, Gamboa, Jojo Diaz, Cambosis twice, Lenares, Lomachenko. I mean, at 24, 25 years old, who's doing that? Not today. No one's doing that. So I think his resume is 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 immaculate. And if he beats Regis Progray, okay, you know, you got to put him. I already had him in my top five. You know what I mean? So I think it's getting tough because there's so much uh, – quality at the top now that is tit for tat but as far as like everybody that's under 30 i would say if you exclude the crawfords and the charlos and the canellos of the world i mean he in the top maybe maybe four right maybe three so you know that's why i say i think that he will fight i think he wants to fight uh, uh guys like tank i don't know what happened with the shakur fight but Regis is no easy fight, man. I don't care what y'all say. I don't care what y'all seen from Zorilla. If Regis hits you, he can hurt you. I mean, look what he did to Josh Taylor eye. He swole that boy eye up like a grapefruit. So ain't nothing to uh ain't nothing to sneeze at. But let me know who y'all got winning the fight. Regis Progray versus Devin Haney, December 9th, just before Christmas, at the Chase Center in San Francisco on Dazzin Pay-Per-View. Talk to me in the chat. It's the baddest brand in the land. Champside, go to champside.com right now and cop all of your undisputed merchandise.